What's up, my friends? Welcome to Friday. Happy Friday to you, right? December 3rd, 2021. It is the most amazing day. It is beautiful out here, right? It's just missing one thing. The world is missing you and those precious gifts that God put in you at birth. It's time to develop those, to maximize those and give them out to the world. That's what's going to make this beautiful world even more beautiful, my friend. But I got a tremendous message for you today. Tremendous message. But first, I just got a, just got a hypothetical I want to pose to you first, right? Do you ever notice, or maybe you yourself do this, right? Most people, they determine, they predetermine how much effort they're going to put towards a particular activity before they even engage in the activity. Like, oh, such and such want me to help them move. Well, I'm going to help them, but I'm only lifting this. I'm not doing this and this and this. See, what if I were to tell you that that's the wrong approach? What if you're not supposed to rationalize how much effort and energy you're going to spend toward a particular thing? What if I told you that you're supposed to give a maximum effort in everything that you do? But here's the thing. You got to better prioritize what you do, right? So rather than trying to cheat the game, cheat how much effort you're giving, why don't you cheat some of those activities that don't really apply to your growth and to maximizing your potential and only do the things that's beneficial to your life and to the people that you love? and give maximum effort in everything. Let me go a little further. No more shortcuts. No more shortcuts. Out the window with the shortcuts. And here's why, right? Because we all, you, me, and the entire world, we all must first get uncomfortable in order to get comfortable. So you know what that means, right? If there's not any challenge, there is no growth. The only way you can grow is by being challenged, my friend. And in most instances, right, the challenge comes in the form of a lesson. But always be mindful that if you cheat the lesson, you also cheat the blessing, my friend, right? And here's three reasons why you should take no more shortcuts, right? Number one, you got to give a maximum effort in everything that you do. And here's why, right? Because your effort is your audition to see if you really deserve, if you're really worthy to get all that you desire to have. So you're getting measured on your effort at all times, not just in the particular category that you're, that you're investing in, in everything, right? And number two, this is what you gotta understand, right? Anytime you take a shortcut, guess what you're telling God indirectly? That I'm not quite ready to level up. That's why you can't take shortcuts, right? And number three, you gotta develop a greatness mindset, a mind bold enough to believe, right? That results are the only thing that matter. You know why? Because results don't lie. So when it's all said and done, those shortcuts you taken, let me break it down for you, right? This is how we create our future life, right? By what we think, how we feel, not how we front or tell people we feel, how we really feel on the inside and how we respond to situations, right? So check this out. So anyone or anything that you cheat, you really only putting yourself in position to be cheated. So whatever you cheat, you're only cheating yourself, my friend. When that karma come back around, you gonna get the brunt of all of the cheating. It don't pay, my friend. No more shortcuts. And check this out, right? You're boom! to be great.